The cold, wintry weather that we've been experiencing so far this week is here to stay. In fact, it looks like this week has given us the coldest weather of the winter so far. The temperatures at Marham in Norfolk on Wednesday morning dropped to minus 13 degrees. That looks like the lowest temperature we've seen across the UK so far this winter. For the rest of the week, it stays cold. There'll be further problems with frost and ice and the risk of some significant snow at the end of the week. Now, this is how things are set up. A big ridge of high pressure across Scandinavia. Easterly winds coming all the way from Eastern Europe, bringing that cold air towards us. At the same time, milder air and weather fronts trying to push in from the west, but running up against that block of cold air, they're not going to make much progress. So this is how Thursday shapes up. Early freezing fog across eastern areas and a very cold start once again. Eastern parts, though, should stay fairly bright, although we'll see a few wintry showers. Further west, a bit of a change as a band of clouds starts to work in. A bit of patchy rain and maybe some wintriness up over high ground. And notice turning just a touch milder in the west. Seven degrees there in Plymouth, for example. Now, that milder air is lurking out in the Atlantic. But as I mentioned before, the block of cold air is very stubborn. So although this mild air is going to try to work its way in during Friday, it's not going to make a lot of progress. But the dividing line between the mild air and the cold air is marked out by these weather fronts. And as these start to slide in during Friday and the wet weather runs into that cold air, well, that brings us the chance for some really significant snowfall. Now, a bit of uncertainty about the exact timing of this forecast, but it looks likely that places from East Wales and the Midlands northward, say, could see between 5 and 15 centimetres of, of snow. Accompanied by very strong winds, notice the squeeze in the isobars here. That'll blow some of the snow around. It will feel raw and cold as well. So Friday is one we're keeping a very close eye on. Now, some of that snow could well be left behind in eastern areas during Saturday. And notice the air remains very cold, a little drier through these eastern parts on Sunday. Further west, things begin to turn a little bit milder. Look at Plymouth, for example, six degrees on Saturday, seven degrees on Sunday. Here we'll see some more wet weather by the end of the weekend as that again runs into cold air, gives the chance for some further snow in places. So travel disruption is quite possible through the next few days. Your BBC local radio station will keep you up to date with the very latest on that. And we will keep you up to date with the latest on the forecast right here.